hi guys and welcome back to the channel to everybody who's like comment and subscribe thank you very much to everyone who's gone this journey with me i do want to say thank you i really do appreciate it ladies uh today we're going to be talking about something completely different of course it's going to be skincare but what i'm going to do is i'm going to answer some questions in the comments so today's uh, episode is going to be called tips in a jar so I'm doing this for a simple reason is because I don't really touch up on these kind of things when I'm doing the actual product. So I want to touch up on these as we go. So if you have any other questions, please let me know as we go along as well. So ladies, the first thing we're going to talk about is the face and its own entirety. We're going to talk about the skincare routine, how to look after the face. Guys, first, before you do anything in your life, you need to know your skin type. So there is four different kinds of skin types. So I want you to really know your skin type. If your face is dry all over, in the morning when you wake up, you feel a little bit of tightness, your skin is dry, then you essentially have dry skin. Okay, it's as simple as that. There's nothing else that it can be. It's called dry skin. So for dry skin, you can use basically any moisturizer that says dry on the bar uh, for dry skin. So most of your um, moisturizers will have something to do with moisture in it. So the next skin type I want to talk about is combination skin. So combination skin is when you have oiliness on this area and in this section it's more drier. So that means you have a combination of the two. So you have the oily and you have the dry skin. For this skin type, you would always take something that says combination skin or, uh, or it would be oily to combination, combination to oily. That's what your skin key will always say on there. The third one I want to talk about is uh, your oily skin. That means the end of the day, midday say by 12 o'clock your oil levels here your oil levels here your oil levels here it's on 100 percent try with net tap tap on my oily vegetable you've got 100 percent oily skin there's no getting around it for you you need to use a gel moisturizer it has to say gel because it has to mattify the skin and it has to assist in absorbing the the excess oil on the skin so if you're using a really good product that says gel that mattifies by 12 o'clock in the afternoon you won't have that excess this layer of oil on the skin like you usually did guys and a note a lot um, asked me if um, people with oily skin have to mask so i want to say yes guys oily skin is at the end of the day a skin type as well the skin is can be oily but it can be dehydrated so you need to bring hydration back into the skin yes it's true so you always need to the same skincare regimen that you would use for any other skin type can fall to oiliness as well guys you're going to have some targeted skin problems as well so for example if you have blackheads or exposed exposed pores you're going to use blackhead strips you're going to use pore strips but this doesn't mean that your skin no nose is oily so you can't use the strips you have to use it so guys just because you have a certain skin type doesn't mean that you need to you have a, a personal regimen that you need to do you can basically do everything that someone with dry skin can do just your, your product types will differ guys this last skin type you're going to have is the sensitive skin this skin type, I want to say, guys, you need to take extra caution when it comes to your skin because you break out easily. So that's where the sensitivity comes in. The skin tends to break out easily. A product that I always will recommend, a brand, let me say that I would recommend for sensitive skin is Kiehl's. One of the best brands for sensitive skin. Guys, you're going to get Kiehl's and Edgar's. So there is definitely a chance that you can go there and find out something. Sometimes counter things, over-the-counter things, it's not going to work for you. Sometimes you need to invest. I would say even if you can't do anything from Kiehl's, get one of the masks. You, I'm going to tell you, game changer. It's going to change your life. And the nice thing about Kiehl's is they give samples. So go to a counter and find out what, if they have samples for you. You don't need to, to be dedicated. After that, you can go back and you can buy. Guys, if you are doing over-the-counter products and you have sensitive skin, a little tip I want to show you is try the product over here. Within five minutes, if the product starts to sting, you don't use the product because it's going to not work on your face. If you have it after 10 minutes, nothing has happened, good, fine and well. The actual idea of this is to leave it on for at least five hours. So when you put it on, leave it on for five hours. If it hasn't done any reaction here, then you go and buy that product, okay? So that is the, the most 
effective way to test whether a product will react with your skin or not. But like I said, I would always recommend going to the Kiehl's range or going to see a dermatologist because girl, it's your face. Look after that. So that is about skin types. Let's jump right in, guys. So I get a lot of questions. Um, actually, Alretha asked me regarding foundations. So I wanted to, I don't really want to touch on makeup, but I do want to, to answer her question honestly. So her question was like, how do I know my foundation type? All these kind of questions. So Alretha, first of all, thank you for that question. It was a personal one. So um, first of all, what you need to do is whenever you, you, you need to buy a foundation for your skin type as well. If you have oily skin, first of all, you want to get the skin blur. This is what it looks like. It's called the skin blur. So your skin blur takes away excess oil and it gives the face a matte finish. I always recommend doing this because even if you don't have a, if you, if you have oily skin or even dry skin could use it. But what you want to do is you want to give a, a, a plain canvas for the skin so that you can play around on it. So I want to show you, this is how it looks, the skin blur. So you just put it on all over the skin. And what that does is it gives the skin a nice matte finish, as you can see over here. You can see this is more shiny, this is matte. So that is what your skin blur essentially does. Um, MAC has one as well that you can try, but I mean, you could go anywhere and find a nice skin blur. So that's just going to give you a nice little uh, platform on where you can work on. The second thing I want to tell you is, if you have oily skin, go for an oil-free um, foundation. It sounds simple, right? Oil-free foundation. So it's, it's going to work, guys. Come on. Why you got to make it difficult? So go for an oil-free foundation. The third thing, if you've got oily skin, is go for a powder foundation. These are the three things that you have to do. So go for a powder foundation if you really don't want to use anything with the oil because it's going to sit. And guys, when you're using, if you're not putting on a skin blur or if you're not putting a mattifying face cream on, you're going to have, um, by the end of the day, you're going to have little patches. It's got plick, plick, provoke this. Guys, we don't want that in our lives. Come on, move with the times. So if you're going to mattify the face, it's going to blend evenly. It's going to work better. So you're going to have a better canvas to work on. Guys, this is true for oily skin, for um, dry skin, for combination skin as well. The second thing that I want to tell you is when purchasing a foundation, a foundation is something that's going to stay on your skin for a really, really long time, 24 hours. So you want something that's going to be a good product. So try and get something if you really, if your budget doesn't allow something really great, always try and go for Maybelline or go for Revlon. Maybelline has many versions which cost like 60 Rand and this is how you can see if you really like their product. Otherwise go for Revlon. I mean, they've been in the business for a, for a minute so they know what's going on. Guys, when you're trying to see your foundation in the shop, the lady always says, okay, try it here. Mayra and Vata Ira Veg Dai. Come on, this is not true. Especially for me, I have a summer color and I have a winter color. So I can't be doing that because in in winter, in summer, nee, So what you want to do is when you're trying your foundation in the shop. It's very simple. Let her take three colors that she thinks is for you and do this. Okay? So the color should be blending perfectly into your skin. Like this one, you can see this is my, so my, my winter color. So it's a little bit lighter. And you can see it's going right down there. So it needs to blend more with the skin. The second thing I want to tell you is if you have foundation on already and you don't want to try it on the skin, try it on over here. Maar as jy weet, jy gaan foundation koop, hoe kon het jy foundation op jy gezag, man? Ek verstaan nie daar nie. But anyway, let's move on. So guys, I want to also give you another tip on how to make your foundation last longer. So when you're using foundation, try and use a flat top brush. The flat top brush spreads the foundation further and it also evens out the skin better. So what you want to do with this flat top brush is you want to be patting. So you see that little section did the whole section over there. So you want to be patting. Okay, so that's how you're going to make your foundation spread, guys. And you can see I still have excess. And there we go. Lekker, Jay. Just alles in 
flat top wig. So this one is from Wet n Wild. I bought it specifically because I wanted to try it out. I wanted to try a flat top out because I mean, I felt why am I still in the old era of using smearing on? So I want to show you, this is what you, we all are probably doing now. Oopsie, sorry about that. This is what we all are probably doing. This is not my, the side that I'm really with. So what we're doing is we're doing this. And as you can see, my foundation isn't spreading as much because I have to put on a little bit more foundation. So with this one, I'm going to have to go for the, another second coat. So I'm going to have to make three stripes instead of just the two. As you can see, I didn't even touch my forehead. I just did the cheek area and the bottom area and half of the nose. So that's how you, why you always want to do something. Just so that you know, this is the MAC brush. This is my one of my older brushes. So this is how you basically use it. So I would always recommend using the pat section, the pat the pat um, system because it goes longer your product spreads farther as well guys just a little tip on brush care wash your brushes very often you want to wash your brush if you're using a full face every single day every sunday you want to be washing your brushes so you can't be using the same dirt over and over on your skin nee, nah, nee. clean this brush and a simple simple way to clean your brushes is with water and baby shampoo that's all you need don't go buy brush cleaners and aldi nee girl in your hand in a circular motion going with the grain of the brush with baby shampoo that's it there you go boom so another tip that i want to give you so that is it on 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 foundations um Alita, i do hope that answers your question on that so guys to end this off i want to give you two final tips guys if you you um you're using makeup every single day try and invest in a good pair of cotton swabs this stuff cotton pads why I say that is you're going to be using it a lot. If you're using a really nice one, like this dove one that I really do enjoy, you're going to be putting it on the skin. You, you can use both sides. When you're taking off the foundation, I'll just show you. So, I'm taking off my foundation now. Okay, so you can see nothing filtered really on the other side. So for the other side of my face, I can use the other side. So that's what happens when you use a nice one. With the others, it will be bleeding right through. So this one you can actually, it saves money because you can use it both sides. So I'm just going to show you now. And there we go. So I've used both sides, nothing bled through. So that's why I always say, try and get a really good, very good um, cotton swab if you can. Guys, two more tips, then we're good to go. The second, the, the, the tip that I want to give you next is, guys, with the sunscreen. Invest in a good sunscreen. Sunscreen is something you're going to use the whole year. Unless you're working in the house you're not going to be using you don't need to use the sunscreen if you work from home no need to use the sunscreen but the minute you go outside the door whether it's just to take a taxi all these kind of things you got to use the sunscreen guys spf 15 is the minimum that is that's going to be working anything lower than that it's useless for for the sun for everyday effectiveness so 15 and up perfect for you I usually I get something that's always an SPF 50, but I mean, it works fine for me and I am in the sun quite a bit. So remember I told you don't get a moisturizer with the sunscreen in. That is the main reason why I said that because this is where you're going to get your sunscreen from and sunscreen is all year round. Guys, remember if you are 10 shades lighter than me or you are darker than me, let's not even go to the shades, laser treatment is out for you. So you're going to have all that man-made dumples here. You know that clown, uh, the clown darkness that, that you see on some older women? It cannot be taken away. It goes, really takes goes over a long period of time. So guys, this is why you need to look after your skin now to get rid of that, to, to make sure you don't have that in the future. So a sunscreen, winter, summer, all year round. Girl, this UV rays the whole year round. Guys, sometimes old things really do work. 
So I want to say, if there's some older things that like you, you feel that you want to still implement into your skin, definitely go along with it as well. The last and the final thing that I want to tell you is, ladies, 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 if you've never worn makeup in your whole entire life and you feel now is the time for me to wear makeup, I would say go for a red lipstick. There is a red lipstick out there for every woman. Guys, when you're choosing a red lipstick, I know it sounds a little bit wow, but choose one, wear it in the house for a week. One week, don't go outside with it. Wear it in the house for a week. When you're wearing it in the house for a week, you're going to get used to it. The first few days, the first day when you walk past the mirror, you're going to be like, Ugh, every time. But slowly you'll get used to it. Slowly the people around you will get used to it. I did the same experiment with my sister and now she goes everywhere with a red lipstick because it actually works. So it's like anything. It needs to take time to get, you need to take time to get used to it. So guys, please, uh, an important fact about a red lipstick or any color lipstick, go wear it with confidence. Yo copy, yo glass, can you look with Rani? No. If your lipstick is going on your lipstick, go before you eat or before you drink, take it off. Nee, who come with nee? It's more sag, nee. So guys, try to invest in a better lipstick or take it off. I mean, take it off before you go eat or drink. Sorry, that's a sensitive topic for me. <laughs> but guys, I do want to say, enjoy the skincare. Um, I hope you did learn something out of it. I mean, everything that I've told you, it's things that we know or we knew before. It's just being put into practice. Guys, it's the same with someone telling you, if you bob, don't hop, don't have a bob. If you don't know about skincare, don't use skincare. So now you know, now you can use it. Okay, so that's what I want to tell you. So guys, thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you for being part of this and I'll see you soon.